This is a commonly asked question whereby figures are being overlapped. In primary school math, we learn heuristics and this falls under the category of <coughs> Assalamualaikum parents and students of Primary 5. I'm Madam Ida from YMS Edutech Learning Hub. In this video series, let us revise together frequently asked questions for math paper 2. In this video, we're going to cover questions on area and volume. Let's take a look at a question. Figure A, B, C, D, E has an area of 2,140 square centimetres. A, B, D and C, B, E are straight lines. Find the area of the shaded triangle B, D, E. This is a commonly asked question whereby figures are being overlapped. In primary school math, we learn heuristics and this falls under the category of repeated identity. What is being repeated here? Area of BDE or the shaded area is being repeated. How do we solve this kind of question? Students, let's visualize together by separating the two triangles. Let's first draw triangle ADE. If I'm going to draw triangle ADE, it will look like this. Triangle A D E Triangle ADE has triangle BDE in it. So let's draw that and label this as B. So I have taken out one of the two triangles which is triangle ADE. Next let us draw triangle CDE. Let's label that CDE. And as we can see here, there's a BD in there. So we have separated those two triangles and we can see that BDE is common between those two triangles. Hence, triangle BDE is what we call repeated identity. So how do we solve this kind of question? We have to first find separate areas of triangle ADE as well as CDE. So let's find out the area of ADE area of triangle ADE is equals to half multiplied by the base which is 78 multiplied by the height which is 42 half multiplied by 78 multiplied by 42 key this into the calculator you will get 1000 638 square cm. Now let us find out the area of triangle CDE. Triangle CDE. Triangle CDE has a base of 40 cm. This is the base and a height of 42 cm. Area of triangle CDE. is equals to half multiplied by 40 multiplied by 42. That gives us 840 square cm. Next, if I add the area of these two triangles, I will have double area of BDE. The question only wants us to find the area of triangle BDE, which means 1 BDE. Hence, to find the area of triangle BDE, what we need to do is to find the sum of these two triangles, subtract away the area of ABCDE. When we do that, one of the areas of BDE will be removed. Therefore, shaded area is equals to 
the sum of areas of the two triangles 1638 plus 840 minus 2140. Hit this into the calculator, you should get 338 square centimeter. Let's read question 2 together. An open rectangular box measuring 80 cm by 50 cm by 72 cm is shown below. The box is packed full of 1 cm cubes. Part A, how many cubes are packed into the box? Part B, how many cubes touch the inside of the box? This is one of the commonly asked questions on volume. And students, today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Part A is easy. The question wants to know how many cubes are packed into the box. What we need to do is to find out the volume of the open rectangular box divide by the volume of one cube. So let's do that together. But A, volume of box is equals to the length, 80, by the breadth, 50, by the height, 72. Key this into the calculator, you should get 288000. Next, what is the volume of one cube? Each cube has a dimension of one centimeter. Very easy. It's one by one by one, which is one cubic centimeter. Hence, how many cubes are fit into the box? So that will be 288,000 divided by 1 and the answer is 288,000. Now let's do part B together. How many cubes touch the inside of the box? Students, imagine this. There are so many cubes in the box and the cubes that touch the inside of the box are bottom layer, right side, left side, front and back. So all those cubes that do not belong to the areas that I mentioned, they do not touch the inside of the box. Hence, how do we find that? First, we're going to get rid of all those cubes that do not touch the inside of the box. If we look along the length, the cubes that do not touch inside the box will be the middle ones. Hence, we're going to take 80 minus 2. That gives us 78. Do the same to the breadth. The inner part uh, do not touch the inside of the box. So 50 minus 2. That is 48. What about the height? Do we minus 2 as well? No, we don't because we have removed the bottommost layer. Hence, it is just 72 minus 1. So that gives us 71. Multiply this and that represents the number of cubes that do not touch the inside of the box. 78 multiplied by 48 multiplied by 71. That gives us 265824 265,824 cubes do not touch the inside of the box Therefore, how many cubes touch the inside of the box? The original number of cubes that we found earlier in part A 288,000 minus 265,824 and that gives us 22176 22,176 cubes touch the inside of the box I repeat, this is referring to bottommost layer, right side, left side, front and back 
I hope you find this video useful in helping you to solve higher order thinking questions on area and volume frequently asked in paper 2. Our 2025 class registration is now open. Our classes are for PSLE to O-level students. Register for a free trial lesson at ymsedutech.com or link in bio. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!